Hello everyone, hope you all are doing very well. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Avkash and in this video, we are going to cover something very new related to generative AI in the field of large language models. Very recently, H2O.AI, a very prominent organization in the field of distributed machine learning for the enterprise, they have released a very large language model from 12 billion all the way to 20 billion parameters by using the open source methods to train this model on the available open source data sets like many other organizations such as Cerebras, uh, Alpaca and many more. What is new about it? That's definitely needs to be looked upon. However, this, uh, this video is just a getting started video for anyone who is interested in the field of generative AI and specific to large language model. My objective would be to take both of the open source uh, deliveries from H2O, H2O GPT as well as the LLM Studio, two separate repos which are available and just give you a quick start so that you can start digging by yourself and learn more about H2O uh, GPT along with the LLM large language model training as well as the fine tuning. So let's get ourselves started. So H2O.AI is definitely a very top organization to provide machine learning platform for the enterprise. The delivery related to H2O.AI for the enterprise is very specific to their two different platforms. One is their open source enterprise machine learning platform, which has several deep learning algorithms implemented in it. And they all work in a mostly, most of them are working in a distributed manner. Second product is very popular. That is the driverless AI, which is just the AI system in a box, which can give you from data preparation all the way to the uh, feature engineering and machine learning through AutoML stacking and various bells and whistles. This video is not focused off any of these two products, but our objective in this video is to get to learn about the very new offering from H2O.AI and that is their uh, H2O GPT just coming there and about a week back April 19th H2O World happened in India and during that week the H2O.AI actually introduced something called the H2O GPT. So it's about a week old program and H2O GPT is what H2O is really releasing their various large language models which are trained based on the alpaca as well as the other publicly available methods with the publicly available open source data sets. That is what we are going to learn in this video about their offering, the models they have and as an engineer, what I am looking into at the very first time when I see a new organization is releasing their large language model. Based on my knowledge and experience, I'm just gonna go walk through this project and you can also follow up the way I am digging into the information available and how I make sense of everything available for the open source uh, audience. First, you start with the world's best open source GPT, which could be very subjective answer but the idea is that let's try to build a GPT model which has billions of parameter and make that model available along with the training process as well as the other uh, assemblies or other libraries such as LLM studio to help enterprises build train as well as the fine-tune their own models these three models are available hosted instance this model is actually hosted in G in their own instance versus these two model as you could see the link they are hosted at the hugging face repo let's look into this one and here you can see that this is the model which is actually HD h2o gpt oss 1 512 12 billion parameter model 
for any hugging face space you can always look into the file sections and in the file sections you can actually see that the code behind the space so this is the space which is actually using this code and as you can see here that this code is actually the code which is top and then looks like that this code is going to in, in, interact with the model which model you are going to be using digging into the code you can see that this is using the uh, adding hugging face transformers library fine tune library which we can also look into that the origin of fine tune we can look into the requirements as you could see here that these are the different libraries which are used in order to make this application working for the radio server and the fine tuning these are the libraries for attic generating the packages fine tuning optional neptune and tensor board they both for debugging your whole process and generating the results looking into the logs and iterations every, everything in between iterations for the gradio client and here is the data and testing very good way to factor your requirements.txt so people can understand where why these libraries are and why these libraries are being used with a very specific version used so there is uh, no break if you try to install without a particular version or just using the latest version you might see the issues could happen let's go back and this is the prompter and stopping so various functionalities which are available in this application that's what is being available in this backend code as you could see there are four tabs this is the expert tab when you look into the expert tab you will see all these different parameters available for you to manage depending on how much experience you have second the models here as you could see that variety of these models are available looks like these models are loaded whenever you are going to select a particular model that model is connected looks like it's downloaded from the hugging face repo to the this particular hugging face space which is the h2o gpt space and here you could use the laura method to uh, i think it's just tuning or expedite training looks like using the all gpus so they have so you could perform the training and tuning both uh, using the gpu and finally the system settings so as you could see i think this is just admin password okay so these three are something which you could use and then for any of these actions you do have your uh, communic uh, I would say that interactive mode to interact with the selected model so if this model is selected which is trained by h2o you can say I am asking give me the technical details on how to learn Python programming specific to LNM fine-tuning that's submitted response is core okay is queued I have no idea looks like it's not working as you could see the answer did not come but I will let the machine to figure it out where the problem is because this is not hosted by me we are just using so for you you can get an idea that okay this is the code which is really running this application so by understanding this code you will be able to understand everything what is happening behind this application depending on how much time you have available for you understanding this whole code will give you access to this whole application you can run also in your local machine if you have available resources let's check what else is available here is another hugging face repo is a h2o gpt chat part 2 is also running let's ask the same question here and see if this question is working means this model is working to give the answer what we are looking for and this model is working as you could see here that this particular model was not written in the results and based on our question this model is giving answers to us while answers are coming we can go look back to here the delivery here uh, as you could see where the current state of h2o large language model is fully open source repo okay you could use it depending on what you would want you can also prepare the open source data set if you look into the cerebras or if you look into the h2o and various other or along with the alpaca 
you will get those details very easily so it's good to follow all these instructions and learn how any large organization is going to build these large language models from scratch fine-tuning large language models up to 20 billion parameters how they are using the commodity hardware and enterprise GPU servers servers are low rank optimizations and 8-bit quantization for the memory efficient fine-tuning it's getting very popular and you can look into from GP2 for all uh, github repo that how the model is really being trained for making it much more memory efficient for the fine tuning with large amount of data finally after that if you would want to actually go ahead and use your own uh, fine tune process with any of the available model you can actually use the h2o llm studio i did a very quick try for the h2o llm studio using the jupyter notebook they had i had successfully completed it and the code was working as i was expecting so the this video i am not really going to go ahead and explain i will try to create a separate video where i will explain how the h2o llm studio work and basically if anybody would want to find train uh, any of these large language model what is really needed this is just one example of many available uh, in the public domain but this is something you could actually use in the llm studio so we can go and look into the h2o llm studio here is code h2o llm studio and as you can see here that in the h2o llm studio with the full ui you have option to select your tuning and we can, if these are the instructions available and i have just used this collab here and that's what was working but i'm gonna spend extra separate time where i will be looking into the llm studio and learn how it's helping for anyone for the fine tuning so if we would want to summarize what we can take in nutshell using the h2o llm offering first we have h2o llm training process which is uh, i think this one h2o G sorry first we have so first we have h2o gpt means open source large language model similar to various other organization but you have full code data sets as well as all the methods which been used to find to train the large language model with the lora low rank optimizations along with 8-bit uh, tuning for the better memory management second you have h2o llm studio so if you download these two walk through all the code step by step there is a lot to learn and in my next coming videos i'm going to spend significant amount of my time down after downloading these both llm studio as well as the h2o gpt code and i will walk you through in details so that's all i had for you in this video my suggestion would be to please access these two reports and spend about an hour each code code looking into the code and finally figuring out how everything work in my other videos which are going to come soon i will be walking through the code and showing you how everything is working with h2o gpt and llm studio thanks for your time i do appreciate it sincerely and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Until then, thank you so much.